Welcome back to this year's Pixel Festival. I have Oscar with me now. Hello, Oscar. Hello. Hey. You? And what brings you to this year's Pixel Festival? Uh, sorry, I didn't understand well. <laughs> uh, uh, if you could uh, describe a bit about your project and what you were bringing to this year's Pixel Festival. Uh, I will be in this edition of Pixel uh, uh, doing a performance with my project Meta Music Machines. Mm -hmm. And can you describe a bit about that project? Uh, well, this is a like a long, a long duration project. No, that is a bueno. The general idea is to to build uh, machines or sculpture that uh, is going to to work with uh, human music, no? Uh, taking different kind of human music and with some kind of machine learning, try to generate uh, uh, new new music, no? In some way. Uh, in this specific project, uh, that is the first branch of Meta Music Machines, that is called a fluorescent Markov bit because using uh, some light with some tube of fluorescent. Uh, have a mm, more uh, minimalistic and reductive approach and is uh, focused in the rhythmical question. No? Uh, one thing also behind us of the approach is uh, in, some, in some way uh, to be against the normalization of the machine learning way. No? Uh, in general, from, with uh, machine learning, it's a big uh, stochastic and normalization process where you take some uh, sample that represent something that you want to simulate. In my case, is to in some way to glitch the machine learning and to select a very heter heterogeneous material, input material, to try to that the statistical process don't work well and to arrive to like new new kind of no human music from this human music, no? For uh, with this, uh, I choose like seven inputs, different folk music. I don't know from, for example, from India, from Japan, from Europe as well. And then I doing uh, analysis of the rims. Uh, and then, bueno, I, I I do a particular structure. I generate a Markov, I use it a Markov chain model that is some kind of proto machine learning. It's from the beginning of 20th century, from a Russian mathematician. Um, for me, it's also it's work a little bit like a oracle, no? From analysis, uh, from the analysis of a, sequ a sequence of a state, you can generate a model with a matrix of, a matrix of uh, uh, probabilities of the uh, of the states, and then you can generate uh, like the future of the sequence. And then I will a model with one of the of the input, a model with two, with a model with three, with four, and this different uh, is like the structure of the sequence of the performance. Uh, also, there is a, a research in the synesthetic uh, thing between the light and the song. Uh, bueno, uh, the, the, uh, in this case, it's going to be in a performance uh, format. I will do a special display, uh, more, uh, some way more portable format that I usually do with four uh, fluorescent tubes, and you see also the light of the video beamer. Uh, with the model, this Markov model, I generate the, this, the sequence and the on, off, on, no? Of the, this, uh, this sequence activate the light uh, on, off. Um, there is like a three layer of song, different three layer of song that is triggering as well with this uh, on, off. 
Uh, one is direct uh, from the light with a like a magnetic microphone that uh, transform doing a transduction of the electromagnetics of the light to sound, a direct transduction. Uh, other layer of sound is come from sample that I record with this piece as well, but using the old uh, fluorescent tubes with the gas that make very, very interesting texture sound in the same way. And another layer that use uh, digital synthesis. And what would you say were your biggest influences towards this project? Uh, influence. Well, uh, hmm, good question. Bueno, in general, I have I seen that we we are full of influence, no, in 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 our work and more now we know with with all the information that we get from the internet. But yeah, uh, I don't know to what to say. Maybe I don't know. For me, one influence that I like a lot is uh, Jose Valdelomar, that was a uh, all. Uh, 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 creator, but also he was from Spain, from Granada, in the middle of the last century, and he developed a lot of machines, no analog machine. But for, for me, it was very interesting because he have a creative necessity and he developed the machine. He also invented what of the first zoom or the video camera. Uh, some kind of a stereo system before the stereo system was in, invented. And also he has a very interesting theory about cinema, like full immersive cinema. And he used uh, strobos. He says something about the, the uh, tactile light in some way. I think that I get a lot of influence from Jose Valdelomar. And many others, and, and many others. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And where do you see yourself going in the next 12 months now? Will you develop this project further or will you go in a different direction? Uh, well, uh, I was developing the second branch of the project. That uh, in, the, in this second branch, uh, my idea was to work more with the melodic content, content uh, with the melody or the different inputs. Um, bueno, because the idea is also to, to build a sculpture, no? The, the formalization is very important for me uh, to have like a body. And this second branch, yeah, fo focus in the, in the melody content. And the way to generate the sound is uh, using tubes, uh, like long plastic tubes. Um, uh, air compressor. This air compressor, uh, very basic to for for camping or this thing, and then it's made like a, some kind of organ, but bueno, with a special special dis display. And then yeah, I'm working in this second branch, and I have to yeah, maybe I'm going to do a release, an audio release, and with text and. Yeah, this is like my next step of work. Fabulous. Well, we're very glad to have you at this year's festival. Mm -hmm. So uh, will you be actually coming over in person as well, or will you be online? Uh, I will be in person, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be lovely to have you over here. Make sure you bring lots of rain gear, though, I will say. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for me, it's a pleasure to back to Pixel. I think it's a very nice festival. Um, yeah, always uh, it's, you, you come back with a lot of, of inputs, very nice, um, yeah, in making very nice network as well, no? Of people, of community. Yeah, cool. It'll be great to see you, Oscar. See you next week. Okay, venga, see you. Thank you. <laughs> see you soon. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye.